Have you ever faced a situation where you worked very hard on an Excel sheet like this one with calculations, a nice gun chart, and so on, and you protected this sheet like this one? If I click here or anywhere and I try to type, I will get an error because the sheet is protected. Also, I cannot move my chart. And then after doing all this, you forgot your password. So most of you, what they will do, they will try to copy paste the data in another sheet and redo the calculation or redo the graph, which is cumbersome and can waste you a lot of time. So what do you do in this situation? Let me show you. We're gonna close first our Excel sheet. And as you can see in this folder, I can see my sheet, but the problem I have is that I cannot see the extension here. So to get the extension, you go here and you type file explorer. As you can see, it's here. You click on it and then you have view. Under view, you say show file name extensions. I close it and as you can see, I have XLSX. What I'm gonna do next is copy paste this. So I do control C, control V. I have a copy and then I rename it underscore V1. Why am I doing this? because if I do something wrong, I have a backup at least. So after doing this, I'm gonna change the extension of this file. So I click on it or I right click and say rename. And instead of this, I'm gonna do zip. It's gonna tell me, are you sure you want to change the extension? We say yes. And then we transform this into a zip file. Now, in order to continue, you need to download a zip reader so winzip for example or winrar so i have winrar here so i'm going to double click and try to open the file with winrar so i double click and i get this now here if you see excel is where i have my excel sheets so i click on it and then i have worksheets i click on it and i see sheet one sheet two so those are my worksheets now you need to know which sheet has the protection on. But I'm gonna teach you a trick if you don't know and you're not sure to be able to find out which one has the protection on. So we're gonna copy those two sheets, copy, and then paste them in our folder. So I have sheet one and sheet two. So let's try to open each one of them. I'm gonna start with sheet two and I'm gonna double click here and I choose a program. The program I'm gonna choose is Notepad. So I open this with Notepad then I need to search if there is anywhere the word protect in this notepad. So I'm gonna do Control F. So you press on Control, you keep Control pressed, and then you press on F, so Control Find. And then you have the word protect that you need to search for. So this is my word. And make sure that you click at the beginning of the file, because if you click somewhere in the middle and protect is before, you might miss it. You click here, I cannot find protect. So that means this is not my sheet. Let's do the same for sheet one. We go to notepad and then we have some gibberish here. So we click on the top, we do control F, protect, and there you go. So what you do is you start from this arrow. You close this and you start from this arrow and you start selecting the text. Slowly, slowly you select the text until you find the reverse arrow. So let's continue selecting the text. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger so you can see. We select the whole text. Be careful here because if you delete something extra, your sheet is gone. So as you can see, it went to the line. I didn't find my arrow and here is my arrow after scenario equal one. So I select this. Then I do delete. So I delete this and then I save the file. I do save. So as you can see, my sheet one is saved now. I'm gonna put back my sheet one and replace this one. So I'm gonna drag it and put it back. And as you can see, there is some kind of, not warning, but it's asking me, do I want to do it or not? I say, okay. And here you go, I have my sheet one replaced. Then you can close this and you go to your unprotect v1.zip. You click here and you re put back the extension XLSX. Your extension might be different, doesn't matter. 
you click outside it will tell you do you want to change it you say yes now those two sheets i don't need them anymore so you can delete them if you want to but now let's open unprotect v1 then you go here you get your excel sheet and as you can see i can now type freely i can change this and everything is unprotected